This is Eats with Tuan back with another fun easy recipe to get you in that kitchen. Today we're making fried catfish nuggets. That's right. Super easy, super fun. I have all the ingredients listed in the description for you guys. But before we do that, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. Look, I told y'all I got trouble with all the ingredients and the measurements in the description. <laughs> Look, we're going to start off with some catfish fillets. Clean, dried, and you will basically want to cut them into nuggets. Just like that, you want them to be nice, bite-sized, meaty nuggets. But y'all want to see how I cut them, right? Let's go back. Okay, so look, this is how I cut them into nuggets. You basically want to cut them vertically, go up and down like that, clean cuts. You can leave them this size, or you can cut them in half, and you can have more you know more for your buck <laughs> and then you can have it whatever size you like but you do want them to have some good meat on there don't be you know too skimpy with it look we're going to hit it with some mustard we're going to use this mustard as a binder and then we're going to hit it with either slap your mama or creole seasoning hmm. now which one should i try today Slap your mama, that's right. <laughs> How y'all know? Look, slap your mama, I love it. It gives it a nice kick. You wanna go ahead and mix that up, just like that. And you can use Creole, but I'm using slap your mama. Mix it up, and you want it, everything to combine well, and you want the nuggets to look just like that. Okay, let's get our flour mixture together. So we're gonna start off with cornmeal. We're gonna hit it with some flour. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the seasoning. Some lemon pepper. Yeah, that's right, lemon pepper. Some pepper, not too much pepper because we already have pepper in the lemon pepper. You hit it with some salt. You wanna make sure you have that flour nice and seasoned. Then we're gonna hit it with some smoked paprika. That smoked paprika take it to a whole nother level. <laughs> some garlic powder. Then you're gonna hit it with some onion powder. Then you hit it with some red cayenne pepper to give it another kick. And then, of course, a little bit more of that slap your mama, but not too much. Now you can mix it just like that. You can add as much or as little as you want. Make this recipe your own. That's what I'm here for. Okay, set that aside. And we're going to go ahead and move to the next step. All right, so now we're going to take our nice coated catfish nuggets. And then we're going to go ahead and put it into that seasoned flour mixture. Look. Don't be going to the store and buy, buying that flour mixture. Make your own, get in the kitchen, you know, trial and error. Make it your own. You want to make sure you nicely coat the nuggets. You want to make sure you press it down, make sure it's coated, and you want to shake off any excess mixture, just like that. All right, and you want to go ahead and do all of that to your nuggets, and the nuggets should look just like that. Not too much flour on it. You should have shaked it off a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna have our fresh clean oil. Bring the oil up to temperature, about 350 I would say. And then it only took about three minutes once the oil is at temperature. And then you don't wanna overcrowd the pan, you want you know enough room so everything can fry and coat evenly. And look, golden brown catfish nuggets that looks really good don't it quick and easy you see how fast we're going <laughs> okay so you want to go ahead and make sure that they're golden brown you don't want to keep them in there too long because you don't want them to get burnt and look it should look just like that it looks super good don't it i'm ready to eat <laughs> but look okay so fry the rest of those bad boys up once they come out hit it with some lemon that's right you gotta hit it with some lemon and then whatever dipping sauce you want. You can use tartar sauce, hot sauce, ranch, whatever floats your boat. Then, you know, put a little lemon, lemon garnish on the side. Hit it with that good old green magic dust. And there we have it, our catfish nugget. This was another fun, easy recipe with Issa Tuan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Later.